Hey guys, so day two of Vlogmas wasn't very exciting either. Um, we stayed home most of the day and I worked on this advent calendar for David. Um, advent calendars is just kind of like a countdown to Christmas. The ones that I've seen at the, at the stores mostly are ones with candy. So each day you get a different chocolate piece um, or like a different candy or and then I've seen a ton of do-yourselves but most of them have like a little price and I wanted it a little different I wanted to make my own because I wanted them I wanted the calendar to include just different little activities that I can do with him throughout the month leading to um, Christmas Day so I made one myself and it might look a little more complicated than it actually was. It was really easy. And this is what it looks like. So it's kind of like a little puzzle and each one of these little squares is a different day and it's you're just kind of counting down to Christmas day. And each one has a different activity to do for that day, a different activity or a different um, a treat that he gets. So. One day we're baking cookies, another day we're uh, decorating a gingerbread house, another day we're gonna go see Christmas lights, different things like that just to um, get it, get him in the holiday spirit. Um, I have noticed that this year he's much more aware of everything around him um, compared to last year. Last year it was just kinda like, oh, lights, pretty, okay. Um, but this year he's like really excited and he's really getting into everything that I do with him, all the little crafts that I do with him. He gets really into it. So I want to keep that going. So I am joining the Advent Calendar crew and I will um, kind of keep you updated on what we're doing that day throughout our Vlogmas. So don't forget to subscribe. So yeah, and this is how I got it done. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. I decided to go with a black foam board. The cardstock, you decide on the colors depending on what picture you want to recreate. I went with a wreath, so I printed this one out from just Google Images. So you're going to go ahead and cut out your um, picture to use as a stencil. And then we're going to trace it on the back of the green glittery paper. Now I didn't trace it exactly to size, I just used it kind of to reference and um, to make it as symmetrical as possible on my piece of paper but you can go ahead and trace it if you don't trust your free hand. And then we're gonna go ahead and cut that out. On the back of the red paper, I made a grid of five by five. Um, boxes and th the measurements are going to depend on the size of paper you're using so I'm gonna leave that up to you I just divided it into five and five and then I cut out the bow from the picture to use as a stencil so I can go ahead and trace that on the gold paper Cut that one out and then I just arranged it how I like it and I started to glue it down on the red paper. And I also cut up little circles um, from the gold paper to go ahead and add 
more to my wreath to make it look cuter. And then make sure everything is glued down as best you can because you don't want any um, little pieces falling off when you're when you get to the cutting part. Turn your work over and number the boxes from 1 to 25. And start cutting um, down the lines that you've drawn for your grid. So you're pretty much making a little puzzle. So try to keep it in order just to make it easier on yourself. And then with the other brown paper that I showed you, um, I'm just gonna make little tags. So I made them the same width as the boxes, but I made them twice in length. So I can fold it in half and they could be the same size as the box. So you can open it up. And yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and number those from one to 25 as well. And then inside of the little tags, you get to write the activity that you wanna do on a certain day. Then you're gonna glue your puzzle piece to the tags, the tags with the number facing up and the puzzle piece facing down. So you can go ahead and glue those together. Arrange them on your foam board to fit perfectly and to, you know, space them out evenly. Um, they do have smaller clothespins, but I felt that the small ones were a little flimsy and they would easily break. So I use these little bigger ones and make sure to glue only the clothespin to the foam board, not the actual card. So you can flip it as you're counting down. So this is what it looks like. now that you've seen that way after i was done i went to the dollar tree to pick up some gift boxes and i found these gift tags they come in a pack of 18 and they're gift tags which is what i made here so this little brown paper I made um, I made little folding thing like a tag and glued it on in the back on the back of that little puzzle piece. But this would have been so much easier, and they're so cute. Look, so it would have been so much easier to just grab these tags and glue them onto the foam board. Not not even use the pins. Just just use it. Um, glued it directly to the foam board and then just open one each day so there's another idea in case you don't have um, the time or you don't want to do all the other hard stuff um, you can just go uh, gift tags to a foam board and call it an advent calendar <laughs> and then again like I said my favorite part about making it your own uh, making it yourself is uh, being able to add the activities that you want to do with your kid. Um, it would be perfect if it were rainy or snowing, you know, somewhere else. Um, kind of keep the kids busy inside rather than going outside. But here in California, it's still like 75 degrees. So, yeah. Anyway, so that's another little tip. I got these just, you know, gift tags for... Um, to wrap my gifts but I thought on my way home I was like I could have just done this I didn't even know they had gift tags like that um, I went to go buy more stickers to um, more of the sticker ones and I found these at Dollar Tree and I was like this would have worked perfectly there you go that's it for day two of vlogmas tomorrow is Sunday and you will see that video on Monday and yeah hope you tag along don't forget to subscribe and we will see you guys tomorrow